Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I apologize for the swatches. I just finished filming my um, single eyeshadows video and I forgot to clean my hand off. So in this video, I'm going to be going through a few different categories of smaller items. And I figured the overhead view would be the easiest way to do this because the categories I'm gonna be going over aren't like all in one area. They're kind of scattered about my collection. So the first category I'm going to go over are brows, and this is probably the smallest of the categories I'm going to be doing in this video. I don't own a ton of brow stuff, clearly. Um, I don't feel the need to own a ton of brow stuff. I just feel like I really only need two products for my brows, um, something to fill them in and something to set them, but clearly I've got more than that. Uh, the two products I am currently working through are the Hourglass um, Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in the shade Ash. Um, I really feel like mine is broken, first of all. It came to me broken. Like, this is not attached in here. Um, so that'll be interesting when I get down there. There's still quite a bit of product that um, is not broken, but... Um, also, I feel like the like twisty thing on this is, I don't know, maybe it's because it's broken. I feel like it doesn't work that great. But I'm trying to get through this because, um, I don't know, I just wanted to try it out. And I feel like I go through, like I'm going through the product really quickly on this, I feel like. Um, so I figured I would just um, use this until it's done and move on to the next thing. Um, this is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. I think it's supposed to be like a mascara slash brow gel, but it's got this like long skinny applicator thing. Um, I use this in my brows. It works fine. Um, I don't know. I'm not a fan of like clear brow gels because the wand and like, at least this isn't see-through, but the wand and the, the liquid, like it's all nasty looking. And <laughs> I feel like that's kind of a dumb reason not to like them, but it just kind of grosses me out a little bit. But, oh well. So those are the two I am working on right now. I honestly probably should put this one away and work on this one because I want to get this one done this year and I don't like it um, really at all. I don't know why they call this a brow gel. It's more just like a brow tint. It it adds color. It's like a moussey consistency. It adds color to my brows, um, but it does not set them. Like this never, I've only used it a couple times, but when I did use it, it didn't dry down all the way. So I'm not really a fan of this, but I do want to use it up. Like I'm not sitting there like touching my eyebrows constantly and it doesn't run or anything. So I can use it. It's just like not my favorite. Um, so I need to try and convince myself to switch over to this so I can start using this and get it used up. Um, oh, I didn't even say what this is. This is the In Studio Cosmetics Brow Gel, uh, in the shade Blonde Taupe. Uh, I got this at Walmart for either a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. Uh, my Walmart doesn't sell this brand anymore. It was there for a very short time, but yeah not my favorite this is what I was using before the hourglass and this is the covergirl brow and I'm eye makers pencil crayon in soft brown this thing is like never ending the product in here is like so stiff and you I barely ever have to sharpen it that it just lasts forever and I figured since this is a pencil product and if like the outside starts to dry out which doubtful since it's already a stiff product um and it's already really old I can always just sharpen it and it'll be fine so I instead of working on this, this is going to take me a million years to finish I decided I would move on to something that was more likely to uh dry out and expire and go bad um so I put that on the back burner and I'm working on the hourglass. After the hourglass, I will probably work on this one. The hourglass one is new. This one is older, so I probably honestly should have been working on this one instead, but I really wanted to try the hourglass one out and it seems like it's going really quickly, so 
I'm just going to use that. This is the uh, Makeup Revolution Ultra Brow Arc and Shape. It has like a pen side, which is like, it's not dried out, but it does get a little bit like crumbly kind of. I don't know how to say it. it kind of like sweats out the color a little, but it's, it like still works. So it's fine. And the other side is a pencil, which, yep, still works just fine. Um, but after the hourglass one is gone, I will start working on this one. Uh, let's see. I've got this NYC <laughs> ancient brow powder and, uh, wax. This is so old. I don't even know. Like, it's so old, I still have the brush and the tweezers in there. I never leave those things, <laughs> those types of things in there. But they're in there, so it's pretty old. This is the Bodyography um, Brow Trio in Essential. It's just got three different brow shades. And I have used this. I used this quite a bit, um when I first got it. I got this maybe like five or six years ago uh, from BoxyCharm. Honestly, probably like six years ago uh, from BoxyCharm. And it's fine. I'm not a big, I'm not big, uh, I'm not a big brow powder person. So I'll use it when I have to. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Aqua Brow Tint. I have never used this, um, but it intrigued me. I'm not sure if that's going to be too dark for me. I hope not. I don't have like super light brows. I think the shade should be fine for me. But again, seeing as I don't think that this is going to dry out anytime soon, and there's a lot of it in there. I'm not going to be focusing on that anytime soon. And then the last item I have is the Mary Kay Brow Definer Pencil. Uh, I've never used this. I've only swatched it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like the tip is still super pointy. I don't... This again is really... It's a really stiff product. So... This is probably honestly going to be one of the last things I use. I'll probably get through this and then and then use the powders though. But yeah, so that's all of the brow products I have. Nine brow products. And my goal is to have only two. Uh, this is going to take me several, several years to get through these. Um, Granted, I didn't do my makeup very often in 2020, but every time I did my makeup, I used this for my brows, and I feel like it barely moved at all. But we'll see. I really think this is going to take me like th three or more years to get through all of this, though. Anyway, let's move on to the next category. All right. So we're going to be doing mascaras next, and I'm going to go over all of my open mascaras first. So, actually, that one is not open. Let's put that open. So, first I'm going to go over the ones that I'm currently using. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, it's just the original one. This is a mini. Uh, or a sample, I'm not sure which. Um, it's 3.9 grams. I don't like this mascara that much. Um... The L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise is a dupe for this, but it's a, it's better than this, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm just trying to get through this because I have it. Um, but this is the one I'm currently working on. Um, I'm kind of working on this one at the same time, but I really want to get through the Too Faced one um, before I finish, before I go back to this one. Sorry if you're shaking. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Miss Manga uh, mascara. I really like the L'Oreal mascaras. I feel like they work really well for me. This is the waterproof one. Um, I don't really like waterproof mascara that much, but I have it, so I want to use it up. Uh, then I also have this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise um, glitter topper. So it's just a 
gold glitter mascara and it's really cool and I really like it. Um, I don't see myself using this up anytime soon because there's still a lot in here. It's still really juicy um, and I don't use it all the time. I just use it every once in a while but that is open. Let's see. This is the NYC Instant Lash. Um, yeah. And this is a very thick mascara. Um, it's a very thick mascara. <laughs> I haven't used it very many times. Um, but it is, that's a black one. And then... I also have the ColourPop Voluminizing Mascara, BFF Mascara. Um, this is in black on black. I do really like this mascara, um, but I want to get through these other ones first, of course. And then I've got the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, which is also very nice. It's very black. And then I have three of these NYX uh, colored mascaras open. I've got, do they have shades on them? Forget Me Not, Coral Reef, and Mint Julep. I do also have Perfect Pear, but that one is still sealed. I really need to be better about using these. I love colored mascaras. I remember when I was in high school, I had a like a blue mascara, like a navy blue mascara, and I loved it so much. These are still very juicy very nice um i just need to be better about actually wearing them these are really nice for like accents on the lower lash line so i need to get to that so i have currently um like i would call these specialty mascaras that's what i'll call them so i have four specialty mascaras open because these aren't ones that I'm gonna like use up super fast because I only use them as accents. Uh, and then I have uh, five black mascaras open, which is a little crazy considering I am not one of those people. Like I'm not, I'm not one of most people <laughs> that um, are very, very strict about how long they use a mascara for. I understand why I'm not like judging anybody but for me personally it just feels wasteful if the mascara is still performing just fine if it's not irritating my irritating my eyes if it doesn't smell weird if it's not flaking and smudging then for me personally I feel like it's still fine to use so mascaras for that reason do end up lasting me a very long time so it's a little ridiculous that I have five of them open and it's a little ridiculous that I have uh, as many unopened ones as I do. Let's move on to that. So I showed you this NYX color mascara in Perfect Pair. Um, this is the only other like specialty mascara that I have. The only other like colored mascara. Everything else is a black mascara. And it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. I understand. <laughs> so... I have the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. This has never been opened, um, but I actually love this mascara. The um, the Maybelline, like these like fat ones. I actually really love these. Uh, this is the Colossal Volume Express. Um, I use these for years and years and I really like them. Uh, so I have both of those. Trying to not make them roll too far. Put them here. Then I do have one of the uh, L'Oreal Miss Manga mascaras. This is just the original. This is not the waterproof. This is one of my like favorite mascaras ever. If you don't mind like a little bit of a clump, this is great. If you like very very voluminous and you don't mind like a little bit of thickness, this is like this is your mascara. I don't actually think they make this anymore which breaks my heart, <laughs> but um, it's very good. Let's see, I have the Jordana Bush, Bush, Best Lash Extreme. Uh, I, don't, I haven't even taken the plastic off of this. This is in black. 
Uh, this is a mascara that my husband brought me from Japan, I believe. This is the Princess Volume Mascara. Yeah, it's like Japanese sticker on there. Um, this is in black. Uh, I haven't opened it, so I don't know what that is like. I have this Laura Geller mascara that I got in a BoxyCharm. Again, haven't opened it. Mm, hopefully this has actual product in it. This is the second mascara that I've ever gotten from BoxyCharm. The first time I got a mascara from BoxyCharm, years and years and years ago, before I canceled it the first time, I got a mascara in my BoxyCharm and it literally was empty. It wasn't just dried out, it was literally empty. It was nuts. It was crazy. Uh, I've got this LA Colors mascara. <laughs> I'm, I really don't have high hopes for this. This is, what shade is this in? Probably black. Um, I think that this might have come in like a set or something or maybe I bought it at the Dollar Tree because I was curious about it. Haven't opened it so I haven't tried it. Uh, don't have super high hopes for that but you never know, right? You never know. Uh, there's this Almay Intense Eye Color Volumizing Mascara in Midnight. I think this is a black but I'm not certain. I'm pretty sure it's black. I don't want to open it to find out because I really don't need air getting in there right now. and speeding up the aging process. <laughs> uh, I've also got this Essence I Heart Extreme Volume Mascara. This is the waterproof. Again, I don't, I think I might have bought this on accident, like the waterproof version because I don't sh like waterproof mascara. Um, it's just a hassle to get off. Uh, but I do have that. I also have the Essence Lash Princess. Uh, this is the, you know, the pink one. I've never tried one of these Essence mascaras before, but I've heard a lot of good things about them. So I'm excited about this. This is the Volume Mascara. But I've got a long way to go before I can open that. I have the NYC Skyrise Lengthening Mascara. The CoverGirl Last Blash, oh, wow, Last, no, Lash Blast, oh wow, <laughs> okay, Lash Blast Fusion Mascara, and this is one of the ones that comes like with the, without the brush in there. This um, brush is like massive and spiky and so cool. I haven't tried this formula yet, I don't think. Um but I like the brush. I've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. I think this might have come uh, as a freebie with something. I'm not really sure. I don't remember how I got this, honestly. And then this came uh, free when I bought um, an eyelash curler. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. So, oh, it's so cute. I love the packaging, like the yellow packaging. It's adorable. So let's see, uh, three, six, nine. Um, I have 14 unopened mascaras. Actually 15 if you count the colored one. 15 unopened mascaras. This is ridiculous. This is gonna last me years. This is crazy, this is crazy. 15. I have 24 mascaras in total. Like that's just absolutely ridiculous. Nobody needs 24 mascaras. I can't even justify that by saying like, oh, maybe if I had a lot of colored mascaras, I could have 24, but no. How many colored mascaras does a girl need? I do really want a white mascara though. <laughs> I do want a white one. Um, and if you're looking for colored mascaras, I do really like these NYX ones, but girl. This is crazy. It's too much. So my goal for mascara is gonna be 10 total. Like one to two opened black ones, like maybe one or two backup black ones, and then the rest, like if I have colors and stuff, <laughs> it's just crazy. Anyway, let's go on to the next category. All right, next category is, oops. Um, sorry, I've got even more stuff on my hands now. Ew, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. 
The next category is eyeliners. So many eyeliners. So many. Okay. I'm going to go over the two that I am currently using on a regular basis. And then I'll go through the rest of them. This is the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. Uh, I think this is my second one. Um, I don't plan on repurchasing one of these because another one that I'm going to show you in a second is basically a dupe for this and I feel like it might actually even be a little bit better and it's way, way cheaper. Um, but I am trying to work my way through that. I really don't think it'll be much longer before I finish that. Then I'm also working through this CoverGirl. This is perfect. I don't know. I can't even I can't even read the words like they're so rubbed off. This is so old. This is in the shade Black Onyx. It's a pencil liner. Um it's black. It's not retractable, which is frustrating because I can't see how much more is left in here and I feel like I've been using this. I've literally been using this for forever. And there's still product in here. Like I don't understand <laughs> what kind of sorcery is in this thing. But those are the two that I am currently like trying to use up. And then I have, I think I have more over here, but I have three um, unopened eyeliners. These are the um, Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. Um, I'll go ahead and pop one open so you can see what it looks like. It's just a felt tip. Um, I did just get these ones because uh, they were on clearance at Target. So I snagged them up because I don't, I love these and they're cheap. They're only like $3 a piece. How much comes in here? Does it say? Let's compare it. Um, yeah, there's barely more, like, like there's barely any more product in this than there is in the Wet n Wild one. And it's like five times the price seven times the price, something like that. I think it's $20 for the Kat Von D one. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's see, I've got lots of these Morphe eyeliners. Um, these are, I think they call them, oh, they call them color pencils um, because they're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to use them for um, eyeliner and lip liner. I've got Harper, Falling for Green, Faith, Sunkissed, High Maintenance, Linda, and Extra. So there's all the shades that I have. I actually do really like these. I think they go on very easily, although the caps really don't like to stay on, which is kind of annoying. So I've got those. I have two uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. This is in Raw Energy and Tiger's Eye. These are from the, um, what is it? What's it called? The like gem collection that they just came out with. Ah, oh, I can't remember. But I did get these both for Christmas. I really want more of these because these are so nice. I really want more of these, but girl. I gotta calm down. Part of my problem is I have too many black eyeliners. Like I'm gonna try to keep my, my black eyeliners and my colored eyeliners separate. So we can just take a look at that. And I've got these three like stamp things from ColourPop. These are the cutie marks. I got the star, the moon, and the heart. So let's put those over there. Those are kind of in their own category. I've got uh, four of these NYX Vivid Brights liquid liners. I've got Vivid Violet, Vivid Envy, Vivid Fire, and Vivid Escape. And these are really cool. They're just colored liquid liners. And this one is, don't be dried up. I might need to put some um, eye drops in there before it dries up completely. No, 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 they're drying up. Oh, that one is still real juicy. That one's still good. See, that one's not, it doesn't even look like the 
packaging, but that one's fine. That one's fine too. So I need to revive the other two before they die. So I'll try to remember that. Let's see. I've got three of the ColourPop uh, pencil liners, the creme gel liners. Um, these are in their old packaging. But I have Punch, Overboard, and Piggy Bank. And then I have two of the ColourPop liquid liners. I've got the green one, which is the Hills, and the red one, which is Try Me. See, I've got three of these NYX, uh, what are they called? Slide on, glide on, blah, 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 a million years long name. I've got the silver and the gold, glitzy gold and platinum. And then I have this olive green, which is called golden olive. These are so good. If you haven't tried these before, they are just, mm, they're incredible. I have an Essence eyeliner. It's just a blue with glitter in it. Just a pencil retractable liner. This is the long lasting eye pencil in Tutu Turquoise. Let's see, um, a Maybelline, or a, sorry, L'Oreal Infallible Paints Liquid Liner. Ooh, that is so nice. We've got two of these Rimmel Exaggerate eyeliners. It's a purple and a green one. This is in Aubergine and Jungle Green. Actually, these are two different, um, I thought they were part of the same line, but I guess not. So this one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Eye Definer. And this one is the Rimmel Soft Coal Kajal Eye Pencil. So many colors, jeez. And then I've got the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in Silk and Turquoise. I have these two Maybelline Master Precise Ink Metallic... Metallics? Liquid Liner in Violet Nova and... Da, 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 Stellar Sand. And these are really nice. I actually found these at the Dollar Tree. And... I really like them. They stay on so well. It's insane. And they're really juicy and sparkly. Like, is it gonna, there's those two at the top. They're so pretty. Whoop. Let's see, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. Um, it's in like the same color as the packaging. It's like a pinky metallic. Let's see. Essence Gel Waterproof Liner in Casanova or Casanova. Casanova. No, that can't be right. That can't be the color. No, that's part of the address. I don't know. I feel really dumb right now. I don't, is that the name? Otherwise I don't see a name. I have this um, brown liner. This is a bodyography in black walnut. Oh no, yeah, this is a really deep brown color. I have this liquid liner from Profusion. Don't even the sparkling eyeliner. I don't think it has a shade name. This came in a um, a set, like a uh, like a holiday set. 
It's really pretty though. It's super sparkly. Let's see. I have any more colors? I have this brown eyeliner. It's a Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner in brown. I think the rest might be black. So let's see. Oh no. Okay. I've got this Ofra eyeliner in the shade turquoise and then I have this uh, NYX liquid studio liquid liner in uh, extreme coffee it's kind of like a metallic brown it's hard to see there but then all of these are black this is too much oh no 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 I have a white one I have a white one this is the buxom insider eyeliner uh, in pearl, which is just white, uh, but pretty sure the rest of these are actually black. Um, so let's try to scooch these colored ones off to the side a little bit. I've got an opened Wet n Wild Pro Line felt tip eyeliner. Do I have more of those ones open? No. I have two of the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen uh, in blackened brown, which I'm going to count those for as black because they're going to be really dark. This is the Ofra Eyeliner in black, an In Studio Felt Tip Liner, which I have not opened yet, um, in black, Avon Glimmer Sticks in blackest black. Makeup Revolution Liquid Liner in black. Morphe uh, Ink Felt Tip Liquid Liner. <laughs> Why do I have so much black? Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Onyx. Bodyography Eye Pencil in Onyx. Buxom Insider Eyeliner in Onyx. Uh, Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil in Defining Black. Look how tiny this thing is. Like, this is actually so teeny tiny. Like, it is really creamy though. But that's just like, that's too much black eyeliner. Girl, why you got so much black eyeliner? Like, the colors, honestly. Not gonna lie, I don't think that's too crazy for colored eyeliners. I like having lots of options. In fact, I don't even think I have all the options I'd want. But for black eyeliner, this is way, way too crazy for me. Um, I'm fine with the stamps, those are fine. Um, let's see, I have one, two, three. Let's see, let's see if like felt tips and liquids and stuff, stuff I would use for winged liner. Let's see how many I have three, six. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve eyeliners. That's so many. And then pencils, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six black ones. Seven black ones. That's too many. That's way, way too many. I want to have no more than two like liquid or felt tip liners and honestly no more than one black pencil liner because I really do not go through them that quickly and this is nuts I don't even need this many brown ones like I have two brown pencils I don't need two brown pencils this is crazy how many eyeliners do I have all together let's take a second and count I'm gonna count the stamps I count the stamps in my eyeliner inventory so I guess I'll count those now so 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 56 I have 56 eyeliners 
assuming I didn't forget any, which I don't think I did. 56 eyeliners is so many. Girl, you're psychotic. I don't know. Mm. I don't know what you were thinking. That's too many. That's way too many. Uh, but my goal with my eyeliners is to start using my colored ones more often and to try and get through my black ones, which honestly, it's a lot. That's going to take me years. It's going to take me years to get through this. It's ridiculous. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna have to start like drawing pictures on my body and giving myself fake tattoos because this is uh, how else am I gonna get through all this? What on earth was I thinking? You guys, please tell me what was I thinking? <laughs> this is so much. This isn't even like eyeshadows where I know I've got too many, but I don't care because all of them are just unique to me. But like this whole stack is just like so repetitive. It's so repetitive and it's black eyeliner. Like I don't need a million different black eyeliners and in a million different formulas like it doesn't matter that much to me like if it works it works and I'm fine because this is crazy so anyway I'm gonna put these away and we're gonna move on to the next category all right so I'm here with the last category of this video and it's going to be lashes now again I'm sorry I keep forgetting to wipe my hand off between cuts but um I don't actually count my lashes in my makeup inventory because I first of all I don't have like an ex an excessive amount uh some people might think I do to me I really don't think I have that many I don't plan on buying anymore because I do want to get through the ones I have but I thought it would be a good thing to share because it is technically part of my makeup inventory um and it is uh I don't know. I don't know. I just don't feel the need to categorize it in my inventory, but I just thought it would be nice to share with you guys. I'm not going to be sharing my lash glue because it seems kind of silly um, to share my lash glue. I use the Kiss lash glue. That's it. That's it. Simple. So let's see. First, all these ones you guys see scattered over here. These are all of my red cherry lashes from I got these from Amazon they came with like a big pack so that's why I have so many and I think they have two different styles so this one is in sage and this one's in stevie and I think those are the only two that I have so I think I have three of each stevie or maybe I had I don't know but these ones are uh, in the style Stevie and then these ones are in the style Sage and I've got three Sage and five Stevies. I have this little pack of Ilure London Naturals. Um, let's see I don't know what style this is. If it has a style. I, I guess naturals is the style. Um, these are very very teeny tiny. Uh, I think I might end up like chopping these up and using them on my lower lash line as like lower lash uh, little thingies because that's just way too tiny for my upper lash line that that's virtually pointless for me personally. Uh, so I think I'll probably end up chopping these up and using my loop words, using them on my lower lash line, but that's fine. I might end up doing the same thing with these. Um, these are the Eyelure accents. These ones actually come with a, a glue and a little um, tweezery thing. I haven't actually opened these yet, so I probably won't use the glue. Um, but these ones are in, I guess, 003. I don't know is that the style I'm not sure these are also like really tiny so if you have like really tiny eyes these would probably work well for you let's see the other I've got another pack of these naturals I don't know maybe I'll try them on my upper lash line maybe I can like stack two pairs or something 
and see if see how they work that way they're just so so tiny and just so barely there do you see so I'll try them out but I'm not sure of what I'm gonna do with them these are the salon perfect go glam multi-pack mm, not sure where I got these I'm guessing go glam is the style I do really like these though they're really cool looking I have these uh, Glamnetic lashes. Oh, in the style Bella. These are so fluffy. Do you see these? These are so big and fluffy. I actually really like these. Um, I have the Glamnetic, like magnetic eyeliner that goes with these. I got these in BoxyCharm. Um, and I actually really like them. But you do have to put on quite a thick layer of not like a thick layer but like a thick band of the magnetic eyeliner or else it doesn't stick super well at least it didn't for me like you have to put um you have to make sure you put as much eyeliner like towards the inner corner as you do on the rest of your eye you can't like really taper it very well at least I couldn't um because then my inner corners kept popping off so I don't know I'm gonna have to experiment with these and see what the best way is to like do them but they're very like layered and fluffy I don't know if you guys will even be able to see that but they are so nice I have these I, I thought I bought more than one pair but I guess not I have these lashes that I got from the Dollar Tree actually and they looked really nice um these are actually very similar they're like a more natural um version of these ones they're very do you see they're very like they're fluffy and wispy and they have multiple layers to them but these are obviously uh, much shorter and much less dense but they looked really nice they were only a dollar so got those I, I do know that they have other styles but I think that was the only one I could find at the time I also have these I think they're called lava lashes Los Angeles um I got these in a yeah I don't know how you would say that lava lava I don't know um faux fur or faux mink lashes in the style charm and I got these in a boxy charm as well I have not worn them yet but I really like the box the box is nice and then the last three I have are all of the ColourPop uh, Hocus Pocus lashes so I've got uh flirty witch let's see if I can open these they're kind of they're taped down I don't know why I'm gonna open them so you guys can see them because the glare is kind of bad and they're hard to see so these ones are really big these are the flirty witch ones these are the ones that are supposed to be for Sarah Sanderson and they are very big These ones are for Winifred Sanderson. This is the Boss Witch one. These ones are kind of cool. They're like thicker on the outer corner and thinner towards the inside, but they're still pretty like wispy. And then these ones are Clever Witch, and these are for Mary Sanderson. These ones are very tiny, like so short. I probably won't I don't know I probably won't wear these on my upper lashes honestly again I'll probably chop them up and try to use them on my lower lashes because that's just not that's not gonna do anything for me personally so yeah I do have all three of those and those are all of my lashes um Again, I don't think that's too crazy. Like, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. I don't need any more. I've got plenty to last me. But, you know, it's not the most I've ever seen. So, it's okay in my mind. I'm all right. Uh, but anyway, that is it for this video. Um, I've got a lot more of these inventory collection videos to film. But I hope you are enjoying it so far. 
Uh, go ahead and leave the video a thumbs up if you did. Uh, comment down below <laughs> if you think these are too many lashes. Um, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.